The models before you are examples of three-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional shapes have length, width, and height. I grouped my three-dimensional shapes in three different categories, prisms, pyramids, and a cylinder. The first prism I have is called a cube. This is the solid form of the cube. When I open up the cube, this is the net form. In the net form, you will see this cube has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Each face is a square. For this prism, this is called a rectangular prism. This is the solid form of the prism. All prisms are mostly made up of rectangles. When I open up the net, you will see there are one, two, three, four rectangles and two squares. There's a total of six faces for this prism. For this prism, this is called a triangular prism. Again, it is mostly made up of rectangles. The net form of this prism has one, two, three rectangles and two triangles. And the last prism is a hexagonal prism. Again, this is the solid shape of my prism. When I open up the net, it is mostly made up of rectangles. There are one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles and two hexagons. That gives me eight faces for this particular shape. Moving on to our pyramids. In solid form, this pyramid is called a square pyramid. The base is a square. Pyramids are mostly made up of triangles. There are one, two, three, four triangles and one square. There's a total of five faces on this triangular, on this square pyramid. This pyramid is a triangular pyramid because it's completely made up of triangles. There are one, two, three, four triangles or four faces in the net form of this triangular pyramid. And the last shape is our cylinder. Our cylinder is made up of a large rectangle and two circles. It currently has three faces. It looks very similar to an elephant's face or Mickey Mouse. And that's what three-dimensional shapes look like.